In this repair video, we're gonna be working on an HP Spectre X360 that came in for no power. This is the HP Spectre that comes with the angled corner. Anytime I see an HP Spectre with an angled corner, I immediately think it's a problem with the charging port. And that's based on my experience working on those laptops. It's never the motherboard, it's the charging port when you see an angled edge on the HP Spectre. The motherboard is already out. Now, Big Boss did plug the charging cable to see if it powers on and the laptop would not power on. So he moved the cable up and the laptop was able to get a charge and he was able to turn that laptop on. So we know that the problem is the charging port. Now, the second charging port did not turn on at all, even with the moving up and down, it did not work. But right now, one problem we have is we are not able to find those charging ports anywhere. This is a USB-C charging port and HP does not provide those parts and we cannot buy those parts anywhere online. I contacted many vendors in China. I took pictures of the port and I asked if they are able to find anything uh, similar or something that we may be able to modify to make it work but none of them were able to find this exact same port. We have a vendor that mailed us about 35 different types of USB-C charging ports. I tried every single one of them and none of them would fit on this board. So right now we have to work with what we have. We're gonna see if we can use maybe any one of those two ports to make at least one port work because that's the only option that we have right now. I'm gonna leave the model number of the laptop in the title, if anybody is able to find a charging port for this laptop, leave it down in the comments. But for now, as far as I know, we are not able to find a charging port for this laptop. Let's take a look under the microscope. And that's the problematic port. When we wiggle the cable or move it, then we are able to get the laptop to charge. But this second one here is not working at all. Let's start by maybe removing this the plastic cover that goes on the motherboard. A lot of times I find that the pads under the port are ripped off the board. And many, many times I find that the actual pins of the port are broken from underneath. And that's based on my experience working on those tablets. So we'll see. We'll see if the same holds true for this laptop. So what I'm going to do is heat up from the bottom. Okay, so that connector fell right off. It didn't take much heat. You see how the pins are bent? And the bending is because of the way the cable is bent when you're trying to make the laptop charge. You bend the cable upwards, downwards, sideways. We can try to fix those pins as much as we can and possibly use the same port. I mean, we are actually lucky to have all the pins on this port because I've seen it many times where those pins are lost. But look at this. Look at how loose this port is. Hmm. We can try to remove the second port and see if that port is usable. And maybe we can use it on here. Done. The port is out. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at the pins on this port. We have missing pads and the pins are totally bent sideways. If we are able to find this connector, the job would become a lot easier. We would just solder a new port and that's it. I mean, I'm doing the best that I can right now. Because HP does not give us the option to pay and purchase those ports. I do not mind paying whatever price they ask to buy this port. Because we got this laptop in a lot. Why sell you a port for $10, $20 when they can sell you a laptop? I mean, I was actually hoping that somebody in China would make a port for this laptop, but there are no ports for this laptop. 
I have 35 different types of USB-C charging ports and none of them works. Maybe I need to use a different tweezer rather than use a fine tip tweezer. Maybe something like this would make my life a lot easier. And now all we have to do is unbend those pins. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This port looks bad. I do not know if we're gonna be able to get this port to work. Let me check this one. Maybe we'll have a better luck with this one. I mean, both are bad, but we have. We have to make one of them work. Okay, so I think we should be able to work with this port assuming that the port is good from the inside and it's not broken but one way to find out that's all I have and that's all I can work with okay so we're gonna clean this area I mean right now we are lucky that we do not have any missing pads here but usually I see a lot of missing pads on the board Okay, so now we're gonna try any one of those two ports. Which one should we solder on? This or this? Which one looks better? I think I'm gonna use this one. So did the connector make a good connection? And yes. Just add some flux in the front here. Okay, we're gonna solder the back now. Okay. 
the job is done. Hopefully, this laptop will work. And look at how nice the joints are. Let's clean the front and I'll give it a big boss to reassemble and test. Here's what we did. We soldered that port on here and we left this port out. The board has two ports. We left this one out because the port itself doesn't look good and we have missing pads. So as long as we can get one of the ports to work, that's okay. So let's go ahead and try it and see if there's any signs of life. We have to assemble it to see if the laptop turns on, but for now, the meter should light up when we plug the cable. And look at that. <laughs> it's on at 20 volts. So the port is working. <laughs> great, great. I was a little bit skeptical because of the way the pins were bent, but it looks like it accepted the connection. I'm going to give it to Big Boss to reassemble. And I'll be back. Okay, so Big Boss reassembled the laptop. And as you can see, we have one charging port here and we do not have a charging port here. So let's go ahead and test it. We still have the power bank on and we're going to plug the cable. It should work. I told him not to test it because I want to do it. And look at that. 20 volts at 1.48 amps. And we do see the orange light here. Right there, orange light. And let's try to power it on. Where's the power button? It should be right here. We do see a charge of 20 amps at right there, right there. <laughs> it's working. Great. Great. We do not have a hard drive on the motherboard, so we're not going to be able to boot up to Windows. But that's a confirmation that the laptop is working and everything is good. The job is done. We're going to invoice and mail this back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video. And also, if you are able to locate a charging port for this laptop, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to leave the model number in the title.